What's up guys, Jess here, OJM Farms. Today I'm doing a little bit of pasture renovation. I got a Hay King renovator here and I'm gonna run it over some of my Bermuda hay meadows and uh, see if we can't get them looking better. Stick around. See, like I said, this is the Hay King renovator. This is a six shank. I don't know, uh, I don't know the actual width. It's as wide as my tractor, that's at least seven seven and a half feet wide so I'm, I've done a little bit here just to try to get it set and so uh, let's walk over here and we'll look some of my rows but this this ground is sloping kind of this direction so um, I guess my theory is I want to I want to go perpendicular to the flow of water and so hopefully that'll keep uh, keep water from running off so much and it'll hit these open areas right here and kind of go in and fill in I guess in a way this is uh, aerating it but the main reason I'm doing it is to uh, just kind of cut this Bermuda up and so if you aren't familiar with Bermuda I don't think I can find any stems that's long enough the cows I had this stockpile and the cows have already chewed most of it off but uh, let's see here. There's some right there. So this may be a little hard to see, but I call them nodes. It's a, it's kind of a joint uh, in that grass right here. And if you're not familiar with Bermuda, everywhere. All those joints is where a leaf blade comes up, but it also has the ability to sprout roots. And with Bermuda, you have runners on the ground called stolons, and then you have runners underneath the ground called rhizomes. And so that's one way that Bermuda can spread, and that's one reason why it spreads so quick. If you have it in your lawn, you know what I'm talking about, or in your garden. I have it, that's real big issues with it in my garden. The places I don't want it, it grows really good. <laughs> that's just how it goes. The theory behind this is you come through and you cut all these stolons and rhizomes in this Bermuda. What that's going to cause it to do is going to cause it to uh, take new roots at every one of those nodes and those joints in that grass. And not only some areas it will take root, cause more roots, well then in turn that will shoot up more stems. And so it will really, or it should thicken this up. And I've heard that it does. This is my first time to try it. So y'all get to tag along. Just want to... Uh, Kind of capture it for video and so we'll be able to come back this spring when this bermuda really breaks dormant and see what happens with it so stick around but I haven't done quite as much as I wanted to do but I did the main area that I wanted to uh, to run the renovator across it's kind of the worst area that I've got and it's all along this hill this hill wraps back around that way a little bit and then all up on this next hill and over the top of that one so really this hill was the main issue uh, like I said I didn't do as much as I wanted to I'd like to have done a lot of this just to go over it just for the sake of going over it but at this moment diesel is well over four dollars a gallon um, farm diesel is probably right at four if not just a little under so i'm gonna hold off and uh try to ration what i got and uh like i said i got the main area that i wanted to get <clears throat> or you know my most problem area so i'm gonna call that good and you can see 
I didn't I didn't run this uh, you know I didn't I went down this way I didn't come just right against that and just I didn't try to cover 100% of the area as you can see I came over here and I skipped maybe the implement width across here come back here and these I got a little closer together I just kind of eyeballed it uh, this is really more of a test uh, just to see if it will help this area and this hill and I think it will I'm, I'm pretty positive it's going to thicken it up just from some of the results I've seen and talking to other people that have used these but again I went all up on this hill on top of this hill on the other side of this hill I mean I probably did I'd say a good 10 acres 15 acres somewhere around there Really the only issues I had was where some of this newer hay that I had out that hadn't had time to really compact against the ground and uh, get some weathering on it. Some of that would bunch up a little bit on those scarifiers, uh, but it was no problem to get it off. So that's really the only issue I had. And I, I will say you can tell even this sandy soft uh, soft dirt I could tell that that was a six shank model even with that the 100 horse M105S so definitely if you're looking into doing this uh, I don't think I would just go buy one without maybe trying one first and making sure doing some research and making sure that it's gonna work with your tractor the, uh, the bottom land across the creek is a little more compact. I guess it's got a little more clay in it. And uh, that I definitely had to use four-wheel drive on that one. And I didn't do a lot of it. I just did it trying it out to see how it would do compared to this soft sandy soil uh, on these hillsides over here. So, yeah, uh, like I said, I think that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, mainly just doing this video for uh, archival purposes and uh, kind of see where we went with the, the renovator and then the spring when all this starts to green up we'll come back and check on it and then in the summer when it's really growing good we'll come and check on it just want to tell y'all thanks for watching if you like this video at all hit that thumbs up check out some of our other videos and uh, we'll see you on the next one god bless